All right, welcome everybody to the um, Postgres installation of OS Financials. We are going to use some tools to run the scripts, so the database will be created. I've already created a database, new database inside the PG admin. Um, this database I'm going to use to set up, and we find some scripts inside the uh, bin folder SQL scripts. Then we have the handyman SQL. If you're Dutch, you probably prefer to use the the Dutch uh, scheme. So this is generi uh, generic SQL that should be able to create databases on three different database types: the MySQL, Postgres, and um, uh, Firebird database on server. Um, all right. So I've created a new tool called Execute SQL. Okay, this is my local host. I have to select the type, which is also new, of course. Now we can select Postgres. Uh, now one S, and the database is handy man demo. Alright, so when I press OK, and when it comes to this screen, that means you're validated and everything is OK. Now you can copy the contents of the SQL field, uh, file for handyman. Just copy it and, and paste it inside the top box, and then run it. And now you see a little error here, but that's just because this SQL only gets executed uh, for my SQL, and it was actually empty, so it just mentions it takes a little time to fill up the database, create all the tables and start on um, with some data insertion. There it is. And some tables were not found, which is no problem. Then there's I think a special sign I didn't really like, but it's not a really big deal on this database as well. Now we can see in the handyman demo we've got a scheme here and we've got tables uh, and we even got data inside the tables. Let's see script select. Run it. There's some data. Okay. Now let's go back and add this database to our financials. I'll use the add button. It's a bit on Dutch. Let me put it in English first. Uh, switch languages. Oh. Um, open up and add. Select a books or directory. Now we're going to put in handy man demo post. So this is again localhost for me, of course. You can use a server. Here again, you can set up which database it's going to be. Uh, so this is going to be um, Postgres and then it, this is handy man underscore demo. Now, handy man, all right, let's change that. Let's open it. It's going to perform some of the patches because it needs to add like views and stuff that is SQL specific. Um, so I left that inside the, the patches. Okay, it's opening up. And so here's my first pro progress version. Uh, as you can see in Handyman, stock listing will be working, stock details, you can add stuff and, and, and save it as you can see we can also go to creditors add or update creditors um, debtors now the best thing to do is to go to setup go to document setup we need to select the layout file because the default is not included there so let's go for the default a4 Of course, you can edit and add different layouts, just like the, the interbase version. Uh, now, let's go to a document. Let's add a new document, a new invoice for Mr. Davis. 
selling a press. Now we can we can print it, as you can see. Oh, well, little error there, but it's about the layout file that it could not find. Uh, I have to I had to change that as well actually. Um, so if we um, now confirm this with F3, it can be posted to the ledger and we can also see the ledgers in the T analyzer. So this is the trial balance. Let's ignore zero balances. Include opening which is like default. So now we can show details and travel through that um, batch posting. As you can see everything is working. We took also the reports and we try to fix uh, every report could be some reports in there that still cannot run on either MySQL or uh, Postgres, but um, most of them we've checked and are working just fine. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you uh, install those flinches on Postgres or MySQL. Take care. With MySQL you need to make sure that uh, all table names are lowercase. So either you have the Windows version or when you have the Linux version you need to set it to uh, lowercase only and you need admin rights for that so probably not everybody can but it's a very vague implementation where if you use Linux suddenly all tables can be uppercase lowercase or written in different ways and so they get interpreted in different ways which is totally different from like every SQL uh, I, I've known and unless you quote the table but yeah so that was it thank you